Hi Dorcas, it's Monika. Um, this is just a little quick video to show you how to upload your pictures. I already opened up a page on uh, the Blackboard, the editing page. So what you want to do is all of these different icons. It's the one, two, third one down here on the bottom. It says insert. If you hover over, it says insert or edit image. So what I want to do is I open, click that and it's going to open up this page. It'll give me an option to either put a image URL in there. That's like if you see it on the web somewhere and you have the URL for it. Or you can just simply browse from your uh, desktop or your computer. So what I'm going to do is I just opened up a folder that I had already opened up. And I'm going to put this nice colorful little eyeball in here. Click it. Open it. Now... See, there it is. But when, up here, it's got some little stuff. You can put a description of it, and that's pretty good if you're using a lot of images and you don't want to get them all mixed up. But you don't really have to do that. You can come right over to Insert. It's going to it's gonna say you didn't put a description in, and you can just click OK. It's fine. I don't want the description. So this is the one thing I hate about this editor. It's so tiny, so you can't really get a good gauge. I don't know if there's a way to. Let me see. There is a way to make it bigger. You know, I just figured that out. Okay, so what I want to do is I'm going to pretend like I've got a whole bunch of text up here and I'm doing all of that. This image is too big, so I'm just going to click on it and I can just pull the edges of this thing, of, of it, to make it smaller and get it to whatever size that I, that I want. And that's one thing I like about this one. You can just pull the edges. If you pull the edges, it's better because it doesn't get you don't lose proportions with your picture. But um, sometimes it doesn't matter. You just want it to be longer. But um, it's better to start from the corners and pull it, and that way you can get the size. So that one is in there, and that's fine. And if you have like for say you want to put a couple of these images, I'm gonna make it a little bit smaller, so it'll fit. You want to make, put a couple of these images like an, in a row. Um, you you just need to use tables to do that. I don't really like using tables in this editor because it's so hard to see them once you put them in here. So I can click on it here and add the columns. It's got two by two up there already. But you can have how many rows or columns you desire. And then I'm going to insert it. So here it is. What I like to do is I'll put some X's in there, and that will give me a better gauge of where the table is and how I can work with it, because you can take those out at any time. I come over and click the next one, and I'm going to spread that out. That way I can have a better idea of what I'm working with, because I can barely see on this thing. So, for example, if I wanted to put that eyeball in here, all I need to do is copy it. I'm going to copy it. I'm going to come in here and move these X's. Well, I'm just going to highlight them. Oops. I moved them. I'm, that's going to put them all in there. I just want these out. And then I don't even have to take it out. I can just control and V and there it is. So if I want to put it over here again, I'll just control and V. And so I have a row and you can fool with your tables and do what you want with those. So, and you do that for any of them. You just make a table. I'm going to show you something real quick. It's a tool that I like. Oh, I'm going to show you something else before I do that. I like to make the tables in Word because, and then you can just copy and paste them to whatever you're using, whatever graphic tool you're using. So I, I had made one up here, but you, you to make the tables, you just simply go to Insert, Table. Then you can decide how many columns or rows that you want, and It'll put them in there, but you see how much easier it is to see them. So if I'm going to copy and paste this, I'm still going to put some X's in here or some, you know, just some nonsense so that I'll know exactly where those tables are and I can take that out at any time. So that's what I like to do. It's quicker to me and it, it, it saves your eyesight. So that's doing it in Word. There's another editor. This is the editor that we they use for Blackboard, which I don't love too much. Um, this one is called Tiny, Tiny M Y C E. 
Tiny, M-Y-C-E. You can just go there. This one is the online version. You can download it to your computer or whatever, but I just use the online one. So it has several, um, it has a basic, a full featured. I always use the classic. It's this green one. You just go here and click this button. Well, there's nothing in there right now, but usually it has a bunch of text in there, example text. But you just click that little um, paper up at the top with the turn down edge, and that will clean it out. So, and you can do the same thing in here with the tables, but I just like to copy the tables and paste them in here. See, so you can do the same thing, insert table, and do it as many ways as you want it, and that. But with this one, too, you're going to have to, but the thing about this one is you can easily pull this one out. See, you can pull it out, and you can see the tables a little easier than, than our editor. Okay. So that's another one. But this tool, I'm going to make you guys a video about this tool because it's the bomb. It's great for editing, especially when you're trying to transfer things over to your blog. And it's really hard to edit those blogs in that editor. But like this one, this is my blog for this week. And it's already up. And it has, as you can see, I just used... This is just the main, the blog page, I mean, post page. But what I did to get all of those, you know, it's all leveled out and I use tables. So this top table is uh, two tables that I merged the tables together. You can do that. that. That gives you a little way to kind of design the page a little better. So this one is two tables side by side. This one. And it's all in one set. I didn't like put them each each, which you can do too. But this is one, two tables merged together. And then down at the bottom, the last ones, I've got two tables side by side, four tables side by side, actually. And so then I can put whatever content I want. I even got a video into that one. You can put anything into them that way, but you can divide it up so you don't just have this one huge blo uh, block of text. But, um, yeah, so that's, I guess that's all for right now. That way you, you get an idea of how to put the pictures in there. Anything else that you need, just let me know, and I will do you a quick video like this, too, and show you how to do it. But I hope that's helpful to you. Check you later.